the entry of Melmac Angus with Melmac Gurdy 26F. Fifth is ring number 72 for CNS Livestock with CNS May Felicity. And sixth is ring number 70, the entry of Fallis Land and Cattle with FLC Barb Doll 18M. Marking your show programs, ring number 70 was sixth, 71 was the winner, 72 was fifth, 74 was third, 75 was second, and 76 was fourth. Our, again, our thanks to Sunset Acres and Tambury Farms for their award sponsorship. Now in the Angus ring is heat number one of our intermediate yearlings. There are two heats of intermediate yearlings and our thanks to Clare Lane Stock Farm. They are making the banner presentation to the champion intermediate yearling and Melmac Angus for the reserve. If there's representation from both of those farms, look if they'd like to make their way to the marshalling area. place heifer when you stand over her and look her hips out to her shoulders she's great uniformity great evenness throughout her great round rib great dipped body just great roundness in her ribs she's very bent in the face and I just think a great power is in the house next lady maybe not showing the same power but just a more fondness of herself Next lady, just like to see maybe a bit more linked to the first and second one, and again, another sweet ever in last. Simitol Intermediate Yearling Competition heat number two is complete. Your winner was ring 74, Stuart Livestock with Stuart Francesca. Second is ring 72, the entry of Jeanette Harima with JP Fiona 2F. Third is ring number 75, the entry for Maple Stone. Yep, we're into class 10, so these are your senior yearlings. Thank you. 
77 was second, 79 was third, 80 was the class winner, 81 was fifth, and 82 was sixth. Just an outstanding individual. You really, uh, you really have to look long and hard to find something you don't like about this heifer. I think she's, she's plenty stout. She's got plenty of, plenty of top in her. She's, she's got lots of barrel to her and yeah, lines from behind. Yet she's fresh up through that front end. Uh, she's super sound on the move. I think just a really, uh, a complete female to start off the class. Uh, so heifer in second place. I think uh, a little more moderate type of female, but I think you same thing. I think you really have to look hard to find a hole in this female. Uh, female. If I was to change her, I'd maybe like to bring her up a frame size. Uh, real nice place, petite placement coming, uh, um, and I think a female that just has a lot, to, a lot of good to offer. Uh, the female next in class, uh, you really have to admire the bone and the foot in this female. She's an extremely big bone. Uh, she offers an excellent look. Maybe just like to soften her up to compete with the two heifers. Uh, softness and barrel to that rib to compete higher today. And the red female in class, you really have to admire. You get behind this female, that's one of the stoutest females in the class. But a female that I think is carrying a tick, too much condition, but just to compete higher here today for me. Um, but I think a really outstanding heifer. I want to stand where she is today. Uh, the female next in class, I think, uh, again, uh, just a really a nice female. Um, the entry for Hawthorne Farms with Kemp Brothers Mayflower 105F. Eighth is ring 83 for Mel Mac Angus with Mel Mac Burgess 23F. Ninth ring 84, the entry for Rice Lake Angus with Rice Lake Miss Dixie 09F. Marking your show programs in the Angus catalog, ring number 77 was four. 78 was 6th, 79 was 7th, 80 was 5th, 81 was 3rd, 82 was 2nd, 83 was 9th, 84 was 